Hello there, it's another unboxing video today, boys and girls. It's a big one today. Check this out. Look, right here it is. Today, oh, it's the Rotec Bosch um, 34 13 lawnmower we've got today. And the reason I bought this uh, is because the old one gave up the ghost. It was very old, it must have been about 15 years old. Uh, I'm just trying to remember the make of it now. Uh, Qual. Qu Qualcast, Qualcast, that sounded about right, Qualcast Concord it was. It was about 15 years old. I recently changed the blade in it. I may have put it back together wrong um, because I was mowing the lawn uh, a couple of days ago, at least a bit of grass area out the, out the front of the house there, and everything flew off. I mean, literally, the blade and bits of plastic flew off from underneath it. So that's why I bought a new one. Now this, as I talked to you on the 6th of November, 2021, this is at the moment, okay on special offer in home base at 89 pounds all right oh what's that smell oh my god i've turned the cooker on oh is the <laughs> no it hasn't burnt thank god for that I've, I've, I've got it resting on the cooker i could smell burning <laughs> never mind yeah so this is on special offer at the moment at home base 89 pounds which is about 30 quid off an £89 for a Bosch um, lawnmower seems pretty good to me. So we're going to unbox this today. As always, I haven't read the instructions or anything like that, just so you get sort of an idea of how long it actually takes, all right? So let's start, shall we? We'll put it on the floor. Ooh, it's quite heavy, and we'll see how we get on with this, all right? I know there's like a seal here, okay, which would indicate if it's been opened or not, which it hasn't been, all right? That obviously comes from the manufacturers. Can you see us? Yes, you can. All right. Attention, wheels are inside the grass box, it says here, okay. Handle assembly instructions, make sure the nut is inserted as shown on the uh, illustration. Oh God, there's bits to do as well, is there? Let's see how we get on. some sort of guarantee thing. Right, there's a little bag here. With a load of bits and pieces in it, all right. I've no idea what all these things are. Okay. And here is the instruction book. Yes, indeed, good. I'll keep those in there. Yeah, is that an English page on here or what? More rubbish. What you should and shouldn't do. Technical, oh here we go, what's this? Well, yeah, this is the instruction book here. Right, let's get the bits out. Uh, looks like a handle. One handle. Uh, Plug-in thing and another bit of the handle. I suppose that goes on to there, does it somehow? Let's get the thing out of the box now. Can you see all right? Yeah. Grass box, that said the wheels are in there, didn't it? Oh, is this a grass box? Well, it looks like it. I um, actually don't like doing this. 
I'd rather buy it ready-made, you know? I, I can't stand all this hassle, to be honest. I, don't, I get no pleasure out of putting stuff together at all anymore. I used to as a little boy. I don't know what changed, really. Three years manufacturer's guarantee there, just by registering. Gives you the email address and whatever you on there. Now, yeah, what's this say? See, what, what gets me is the various diagrams and things like that. Now, I mean, what does that mean? You know? What is it's just a load of pictures. Right. And we lift the other bit out, do we? Okay. So bits of cardboard falling off the unit. It says the wheels are in the grass box, doesn't it? So we're, oh, here they are, look. Underneath here, I think. Well, they're under here. Now, how do we get those out, then? So that they've put the wheels in here. I can feel them. Is there a bit missing? Does this come apart somehow? It's got clips on the side, got clips. Ah. Well, it didn't say that, did it? Stupid thing. Ah, here are the wheels. Wheels retrieved, thank you. Okay. So remember that, there's two clips on the side there, open those, because I would have broken that. Not easy, is it? Right, now let's get the instructions, dear. Number one. That mean anything to you? Oh, I think it's just telling me what's in here. Okay. Right. So these this is in two bits, is it? Alright, okay. I think that probably goes on there like that. Clip in there somehow. Ah. Right. Right, that clips in there. See, that doesn't look like it's particularly joined well to me, you know? Look, what's this here? Does that go inside it? 
well. See, that one looks all right, but... Uh, okay, so I think I've put this together now, by the looks of things. Um, I saw some sort of holder thing. Like a holder. Right. I think this goes in here. Yeah, okay. Well, you'd think it would stay in better than that, wouldn't you? Look, 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 look. How useless is that? Well, I think so far you're, uh, you're not easy to put together, Mr. Bosch, are you? Eh? Hey, do you want to make it a bit easier for normal people? That don't... Oh, uh, uh. Okay. Right, so that's that done there. Now, wheels. Click and click. All right, that looks fairly easy. So we've got two wheels. Right. They've got a little design on the front. How lovely. It says it just clicks on, so... the other one. Another one here. Click! Right, they're on. Good. Right, so that's that done. Ah, now we've got to put the handles on with handle bits. There's that, all right. Okay. I'm not editing anything out here. I want you to just see how long this damn thing takes, all right? So we've got some sort of turning thing. I think is these. I think it's these. Don't know. Oh, I don't know what that is. Which things would you put on first then? Oh, the things at the bottom. One, two, one, two. Right. So that is. I think it's these things. It looks like these things that you put on the bottom. And like a plastic thing here. Um. No, I think we do this one first. So, where does that go? Is it like that? Is it two holes here or one? One hole. Mm. Um, I think... I 
maybe goes that way, does it? Just come down and have a look at this bit here. Oh, you can't even bloody see it, can ya? Oh, Christ. Have you been able to see any of what I've done so far? Shit. Does that slide in here or what? Look, can you see this? Oh, my oven. You put a thing in there. The question is... Well, what's that little clip thing for? Oh, that goes there, okay. So we don't need that for now. So this... screws in somehow. Um... Well, I don't see any screws. You can't even see me properly, can you? Right, is that better? Oh, perhaps you can see me now. I can't work out how to put this on. Now I've lost the instructions. What do I do with those? There it is. That's right. Which way round does it go? Does that look right? See, it's so wide. It seems to be much wider than... than... Uh, I wonder if you're supposed to take this off. Oh, hang on a minute. This, I think this might go in here. There's a, there's a square hole here, and this is square. I think you might have to take this off, and then... See, there's, t there's two holes in this, so which one do you use? You know what I mean? Don't say. Not really. Let me see what happens now. Does that go in there? Um. come through there, I think that goes on the back of it somehow.
The trouble is I don't know how this goes on. See, there's there's instructions here in the in the corner. Can you see that? Which is some way of using this, but I don't seem to be able to match the two up. Um, see, it don't go through far enough. You'd be better off with two people doing this, to be honest. Oh, this is bollocks, isn't it? It really is. Unclear. You see these two bits sticking at the top, okay? They go into the square hole in here rather than the other way round. Then it then it'll go in. So I'll do I'll do that now. And I think maybe that'll tighten up then. Yes. There we are. So that's one side in now. I, do you know, I don't know if that's right or not. Should it be the other way? Oh yeah, it should be the other way. Look. The other way. I've got the bend going the wrong way round there, so I'll undo that. Turn it round. Right. I think I've got one side on there, so um, I'll now do the other side. Perhaps um, I'll bring the camera down here a little bit, you'll, you'll see exactly where I'm having trouble, yeah? Now, it's really difficult to see because it's black there but there is a square hole and what I've been trying to do is put that end in and in fact that end go in there so that goes in there and then the screw thing this thing here then screws in the other side see so here we go again so bloody finicky. This one has got the added advantage of having a piece of wire in the way as well. Oh. Well, how'd you get that in then? Oh. 
But oh, the wire's not in the way, it's because I've put it like that. Oh, there we are, wire's out of the way now. Come on, right, got that in. And now we'll uh, do this up again. Where did I put it, on the second one, I think on the first one. See this all right or what? Yeah. Why does that stick out like that? Is that not supposed to close or something? Maybe there's... Oh, I know why. Because you don't have to use a... A spanner then, I suppose, do you? Does that close something? So you undo it a bit to close it. I mean, what's the point of that? Why can't we just have a nut? Managed to get the things closed now, so that's another bit done. Right, next is um, the other handle. Now this looks relatively easy, but I say that, <laughs> you know how it is with me. So two things go on there. And need a nut, or just one. Oh, I would have thought that would have had two nuts there. So we've got this thing now, right? Does this go? Right, I believe this goes in this, this side, like that, and then in there, and then you two. This is on the inside, you would have thought that'd be on the outside, wouldn't you? But according to that diagram, this goes on the inside. Mm. 
no. Is that doing up? Yes, okay. All right, and one for the other side as well. There's two holes here, so uh, presumably that's sort of some sort of height adjustment to, for you to adjust at your, um, your preference, I suppose. Put this back other plastic thing on the screw thing. Uh, I think I'll have to undo that one to do that one up if you see what I mean. Push that in with one finger. Now you should be able to do that up, I think. There it goes. I've got to say, these plastic things don't feel like they're going to last very long. You know how it is with plastic nuts and things like that? They break. They go brittle. And that is how these feel. Not pleased with that. If you'd have given us a couple of bits of metal... Uh, uh, them things. Nuts. That would have been much better than this. I would also imagine this is quite easy to over tighten and then you'd snap the plastic. So be warned, be warned. Not good. Not something I would expect from Bosch, to be honest. Now, um, ah, the clip thing. This is for the clip thing. I saw that is to clip this wire. And that goes there. Clipping the wire here. Oh, I believe there's a little hole somewhere, so I'll just locate that. Yep, there's a hole there. There's a little hole here. See that little thing now? I think that goes through the hole. So you know you've got the right place sort of thing. And the wire goes on there somehow as well. There it is. That goes on there. And... Easier said than done, as usual. See this? Oh, well, that don't look right. Don't look right, that's just going to come off. That looks right, like that. But then, how do you clip this on then? Because it doesn't go on properly. It doesn't stay on, unless it goes here, does it? No. That seems a bit better. I'm still not happy with how that sits on there like that. It feels like it it could just pop off at any point. Um, I don't know about that at all. That doesn't look right to me. Now, I know we haven't got to the end of the video yet. Um, but if, like me, you're no good, no good at DIY, which I'm not, we all know that, I wouldn't get this. It's too complicated to set up. It's all very well. I know blokes are watching this and they're pissing themselves laughing, okay? And there's many men out there, and women, who can do this no problem at all. But there's also a hell of a lot of us who do not find this sort of thing easy. I'm not going to recommend this, even though we haven't finished yet, this Bosch um, thing. If you want to set something up yourself, I wouldn't bother with this. Nope. 
Let's just undo this wire and leave that to trail in there. Now I would imagine this is not nearly done now. So have we got any other bits left? That's the question. Okay, I, I've got no bits left whatsoever here. Right. Um, this would go on the back here, right? Now, surely I'll be able to do this with that. Read some of the bleeding instructions. So I slot in there somehow. Ah, we're on, okay. Requires a little bit of jiggling around that. Again, not as simple as it looks. Certainly not as simple as the old, uh, as the old pole cast one that I had. I'm starting to wish I hadn't bought this, to be honest. Okay. That's not flat, but maybe that's just how it is. It seems to be on, okay. As long as it picks up the grass, it's all right, I suppose. So that's on, we've got the handle on, which now seems to be pretty solid. What's this thing at the back here? There's a thing here, I don't know what this is, so let's see if we can locate that. Up, down, left and right, what's that doing? Oh, I can't even find that. Oh, it's this thing at the front, here. I think this is a, uh, tells it how much to cut it down, so... Oh yes, right, how do we do this? Oh, we use the handle to pull it up and down, okay? So, that would be a high cut. If you've let your grass go long, always start on a high cut, otherwise you'll pull it all up out of the ground and destroy it, like I did at my mate's house the other day. <laughs> All right, and there's your low cut, quite easy. Pull it out, push it forward, and get the high one or uh, anything in between. All right? So, that's that. I think, oh, I've got cramp, oh Jesus. I think we can get this going now. Okay, shall we uh, pop outside to the lawn and see if we can cut some grass? Mm. There we are, we'll see how good this is. Um, to, to, to turn it on, you'll push this red button here and then hold that, okay? As soon as you let that go, so it's a double thing to turn it on. Um, might stop your child getting hurt, you know what they're like, grabbing the handle. You won't be able to turn it on like that. You've got to do two things. So let's plug it in. See what's on it. I never understand why they keep putting these bits of plastic here. Oh, something has to disturb the ocean and the fish. Look, yeah. Why do they do that? It's not going to make any difference, is it? Right, let's plug this in before it rains and see how we get on. How long's the lead? Okay, decent, decent length lead. All right, look at this. Uh, how far does this go? One, two, three. Okay, so decent length lead. I would say that's about 30 feet, that lead, maybe a bit more. 30 odd foot, okay? 
Don't ask me meters, I don't know, old school. Right, let's plug it in, see what happens. Right, we're plugged in and switched on. I'm just gonna have a look underneath to see if there's anything that needs to be re removed under there. Doesn't look like it, okay. Everything's intact, the blade is screwed on and everything. I haven't had to do any of that, fortunately. It also looks like the blade would be fairly easy to remove. I've had lawn mowers before where you ch and change a blade and it's just really difficult. That nut is kind of sticking out, so I would assume that's quite easy to remove. Um, what I would do is, perhaps every few months, just undo it a little bit and do it up again to stop it rusting together. All right, so let's try it. We've got it on the, okay. We'll do it on the highest setting just to see how we get on. Let's have a little listen to it. You ready? First time switching on, very exciting. Right, let's see how we do. Clearly I've got it too high, that's picked up nothing at all. So we're gonna go, um, we go one, two, three, four, five. So it's on the fifth set, number five, we're on five. I'm gonna put it on two, all right? I'll put it on two and then, uh, no, I'll, I'll put it on three. I'll put it on three and see how we go. different to you does it believe me it is you can't really see it that has made a bit of a difference uh, the grass is slightly longer over here so I'll do this bit as well just to show you all right I'm gonna go down another one. I'm gonna go down to uh, two. Is it two, two, I think two inches, all right? So we'll go down another one. Because I don't think we're getting enough off. It's clearly cutting the grass and it's in there. It's also picking up the pine needles, which is a good thing. I'll show you what's in the box afterwards, all right? What's in the box? You wanna guess? Open the box or take the money. Here we go. All right. Oh, you, you can hear that cutting there. Alright, you can definitely see a difference there. I can anyway, I don't know if you can. Right, there's um a slight smell, like a new motor smell. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Well, we'll have a look in the box. And indeed, there you go. So that's definitely cutting and working and picking up those as well, all right? 
So there we are. Have a little look at it again. There it is. The Bosch Rotac 3413. That's the lawnmower we've uh, reviewed today. Final thoughts on it. It certainly does the job, I think. It's, it's doing it quite well. It is also on special offer, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, um, at Sainsbury's home, ba at, uh, home base at the moment for £89 instead of about £125, £130. If you're not DIY good, like me, um, no. I found that difficult to put together. One of my problems as well is I don't have much patience with stuff. You know, I want to go in to a garden centre and buy that complete, all right, maybe attach the handle, but there, I just can't be asked. I can't be asked. I know some of you find this very stuff very easy and uh, no doubt someone has already put in the comments, why don't you watch it on YouTube first? Don't want to. Don't want to watch it on YouTube. Don't want to put it together. But that's what we think, all right? The Bosch Rotac 3413. See you soon.